today. First of all, I'm going to explain you how the equipment works, the okay. basics, okay, just the basics, which you need to know. So this tank here is filled with 200 bar of pressure. That means there's so much air inside that would fit normally in 200 tanks, okay. okay? So there is plenty of air and for sure, both of you, you will not be able to finish it in the time we are underwater, so you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. that, okay? okay? Um, connected to the tank is our so-called regulator. Mm -hmm. Okay, the regulator is regulating the pressure of the tank mm -hmm. because 200 bar, of course, would be too much to breathe. Yeah. It would inflate you like a balloon. <laughs> okay, that's why we have this system, which is actually adjusting that pressure mm -hmm. to always our surrounding pressure. This is basically what we can breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we are plenty of other little gimmicks uh, which our regulator is doing for us. So in general you can see there is two houses on the right side and two houses on the left side. Yeah, okay. We start with the left side. On the left side number one, this is called the SPG, the submersible, submergible pressure gauge. This is showing us how much air we still have inside mm -hmm. to monitor um, that we are never running out. So like you can see now there is about 210 can you see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So step by step during the dive, the needle will slowly come down. Okay. Yeah. There is a red marking which is 50 bar. Mm -hmm. We should not get lower than 50. Yeah. For sure, we won't do today. Okay? okay. But you don't have to watch it. I will be the one to check your air as well. Yeah. You have to monitor yours yes. yourself. Okay. <laughs> no There's also in some of them a little um, depth gauge showing you how deep you are. Yeah. Okay? But don't concentrate on this one, concentrate on yourself. Today we will not exceed 12 meters, that's the maximum allowed. Yeah. Yeah? But we don't even have to go there. Okay. We will see how comfortable you are and adjust the depth accordingly. Okay. Then on the left side here we have another hose which is called the inflator. It is to inflate our jacket. Mm -hmm. There are two buttons, mm -hmm. small grey and the bigger black one. Mm -hmm. The grey is to fill our oh, check it here with air. You will see, oh. I can inflate it like a life vest, uh -huh. which makes us floating on the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay. So before we go in the water, we have our check it inflated. And then like this guys, so we're just floating around. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we will okay. take some breaths with the inflated BC. Mm -hmm. After when we want to go down, we can press the bigger button and the air will be released. Yeah. Since you have an awake bed, you will slowly start descending. Mm -hmm. yeah? If you don't descend yet, probably the cause is <laughs> that you do <gasps> before yeah. you go with your head in the water. Yeah, That's a okay. normal reflex. Because now every time you went in the water or your head in the water, before you did <gasps> like that. Huh? We don't need to do that anymore. Now we can breathe underwater. If you do it, you fill your lungs with air and then you're still floating like a duck. <laughs> okay? So you need to yeah. exhale, exhale, let the air go and then you will start sinking. Mm -hmm. Once your head is underwater, just keep on breathing normal. Okay? So then when we're coming deeper, we don't want to hit the bottom usually. We want to fly. Okay? So maybe we have to add a little air again, it makes us neutral buoyant, we call it neutral buoyant. Okay. Um, important is that you underwater never do this, because you will shoot up like a rock. Huh? Divers always have to control their speed when going up. We try to not be faster than 9 meters per minute. That means if we are at an hour, nine to ten meters it should just take one minute to go up mm -hmm. if you inflate it like this it's more like three seconds <laughs> okay so we always this button we have to take carefully just a little bit and then wait for the effect mm -hmm. then maybe a little bit extra yeah okay today you don't have to use it i will do it for you <laughs> okay yeah Good. <laughs> you might get so excited. <laughs> if so I excited. release the air while I'm in water, does that mean I'm gonna sink? Most probably. Unless yeah. you still have, have a very inflated lung. Oh, it's just a little. 
rain shower, you or you don't weights. have enough weights. Okay. okay. So if you're still floating with an empty jacket and your lungs are empty, that means you need to add another kilo of weight. Okay. Because the wetsuit is buoyant, it keeps you floating. You have to neutralize the buoyancy of the wetsuit. Okay. Good. Let's move to the right side. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the right side, you have two mouthpieces. Mm -hmm. We call that the second stage. This is the first stage, that's the second stage. You have two colors, a yellow one and a black one. Okay. You will be breathing out of the black. Huh? So that's your primary. Okay. You just take it in your mouth, having your teeth here mm -hmm. and your lips over to seal it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to bite on it yeah. hard, right? Have a relaxed jaw. It, it's very light underwater. You can hold it even with your lips. It will not fall out. Mm -hmm. yeah? And then you just continue breathing normally. But you're inhaling and exhaling only with your mouth. The nose, right now, you don't need. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, very steady. Breathing steadily and never hold your breath. That's the diving rule number one, okay? Never try to stop breathing. Always keep on breathing. The bubbles will just come out on the side. So if you blow inside, the bubbles come out on mm -hmm. each, mm -hmm. each direction, okay? Good. On the back side, you have a little button. This will make the air flow even when you're not inhaling. That is only to clear it from water. In case there is some water inside, you have two options. You can blow yeah. in to push the water out, same like a snorkel, basically. Yeah. Or if you have an empty lung and you cannot blow, you just press that button and it will clear itself. Very easy. Okay. The yellow one here is only for emergency. You will not use it today. Okay. During a diving course, you would learn how to pass it to your dive partner in case one of you runs out of air. Ah, okay. So you can both breathe out of one tank and safely go back to the surface. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doesn't you really want to stop, huh? I thought like, cool. <laughs> I get wet anyway. <laughs> yeah. I will just take off my helmet. My helmet? Yeah, your helmet, put it here. It's in the Okay, so, do you have any questions so far? None no, so no, no, no. None so far. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I will do most for you. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Controlling the height with the inflator. Mm -hmm. I can even pull you so you don't even have to swim. Only thing you have to do is breathe. Okay. Yes. I can't do that for you. <laughs> breathe steadily yeah, and enjoy the show. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You might yeah. be too excited. Hmm. So, well, if you're doing really good, I can let you also dive in. Another part of our equipment is our diving mask. Yeah. The, the diving mask should be not too tight on the face, mm -hmm. otherwise it can have the opposite um, what you're trying to achieve, because most people tight it up because they think it's going to be really Water. sealed up. No, if you make it too tight, it will start leaking actually. Okay. Another reason why it can start leak is if you smile and there can come some water. That's why divers are never smiling. <laughs> <laughs> of course we do. But um, smile with your eyes. you should know how to get rid of the water in case it's leaking a little bit. And that's quite easy. You just take one or two hands mm -hmm. okay, and press here on the frame mm. of your mask. Look up and exhale through your nose. Yeah, so you blow air in your mask like that and the water will be pressed out at the bottom. Very easy. Okay. If it's a little more water, maybe you need to do it two times. <gasps> okay? okay? Like this, all the air will go out again. And uh, not the air, the water. The water will go out of your mask. In the diving course, you would even learn how to remove the mask and put it back on under water. Okay. Today, what we want to do is, I just want to check that you know the procedure. Yeah. So we will not flood it with water, I just want to see that you do the right movement. Mm -hmm. Inhale through your mouth, press, look up, 
and exhale through the nose. Mm. We do that in the beginning of the dive. Mm -hmm. okay. So in case during the dive there should come water in, you know how to help yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So a little bit water in the mask is not the reason to go back up. You can clear it easy. Then we will also train in the beginning of the dive how to take the regulator out and back in. Hmm? So you inhale, take the regulator out. When the regulator is not in your mouth, the mouthpiece has to show to the bottom. If we do it like this, it will start free flowing. There will always be air coming out, which is a waste of air. Yeah. It's dangerous, but it's just a waste. So better to hold it like this. Yeah? We said never stop breathing. So now you cannot inhale, so you exhale. Only small bubbles. Just a few seconds. When you put the regulator back in your mouth, mm -hmm. and then you can press with air perch to clear the regulator. Mm -hmm. Or if you have still a lot of air in your lung, you blow inside. Both possible. Easier is just to press the button. And then you inhale again. There you go. You will do it also in the beginning. Okay? Questions so far? No. Okay, so just two more things to discuss. Number one is the equalization. When we are going down, you will feel pressure on your ears. You have to equalize yeah, that yeah. by closing your nose with two fingers mm -hmm. and then exhale against the closed nose yeah. until you hear a little pop and that should equalize. You have done that before? Yeah, in snorkeling. In snorkeling, okay. So you know the technique already. Yeah. We're diving probably a bit deeper than you used to go snorkeling. <laughs> so you have to do it quite often. Mm. I would recommend every meter we're going down, yeah. you do it once. You don't know how much is a meter, doesn't matter. Whenever you feel we're going deeper, just do it. Yeah. You cannot do it too often. But if you miss it, you will feel pressure. Mm -hmm. And if you're still not doing it, you will feel even pain. We want mm -hmm. to avoid that yeah. by equalization all the time. If it shouldn't work, it's important you tell me directly. Yeah. I will show you the hand signals in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. Then, hand signals. This one means everything is okay. Okay, it's also a question. Is everything okay? You give me the same signal back. Okay? This one means we're going up. So don't mix them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is okay here under, uh, on top of the water, but underwater means <laughs> We want to go back to the surface. Huh? So this is okay, this is up, this mm. is we go down. Not you're a bad diver. Huh? This means <laughs> you just want to sink. <laughs> huh? Maybe I will show you come a little higher or come a little lower. Mm. Okay? Good. Then this means something is not right. I have a problem, I'm not feeling so good. Mm. But then please inform me what is the problem. Mm. Maybe we can solve it underwater. Like, for example, I have a problem with my ear. Mm. Yeah? E equalization. I will bring you a little up, you equalize, and then you can sink down again. Okay. Or I have a problem with my mm. mask. Mm. I have a problem, I'm freezing. Mm. I have a problem, you need to go to CR. <laughs> this, now it's too late. <laughs> <I'm still there. laughs> okay, just inform me if you have a problem, I will see if I can solve it for you. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Just for you, from time to time I will ask you like this, how much you have left. Yeah. Okay, this one would be 100 bar, this okay. one would be 50 yeah. bar, okay. in each finger it's 10. Okay. So 150, like this, right. or 120, yeah. like that. Okay, in case you should reach 100, please inform me without even me asking. You can say, hello, here I have 100. Okay. okay. Because this oh. is latest, the turning point where we will mm. come back. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so last thing is the positioning in the water. You're not walking through the water. <laughs> <laughs> like many beginners try, it's not working. <laughs> yeah? We lean to the front and we're swimming. <laughs> always horizontal position okay. that also protects us because we are not kicking any animals or, or yeah. um, corals mm -hmm. and also protects the reef yeah? because if you kick a coral like this with your fin it will most probably break okay mm -hmm. in a horizontal position we can always control it yeah you will always be next to me mm -hmm. yeah? 
with somehow body contact. So I will just hold you on your arm or I will stabilize you if I see you going up and down. Okay, there will be somehow contact always in between. Okay. And I will have you always on my right side. So I will be left from you. Okay, in this way I have good control over your inflator. Go up. <laughs> how long we spend underwater depends how comfortable you feel, how much air you need will be something between 40 and 60 minutes. Yeah. Huh? Awesome. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Any questions? No. Not for now. Blogger ka ba? No. Kasi familiar yung face ng yung dalawa. Kala ko vlogger. Oh, hey! Blogger daw tayo.